In this video, we're gonna give you five tips for RV holding tanks, and we're starting right now. Hi, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Aaron with 3TailsRV.com. If you wanna see more RV-related tips, tricks, DIY projects, and other creative stuff, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon right now so you don't miss out on anything. And with that out of the way, let's get started with today's topic. While the term recreational vehicles fosters dreams of hitting the open road, seeking out new civilizations, and does not always mean that we haven't boldly gone where we haven't gone before. Having a stationary RV means special care for your blank tanks. And today we have a list of five that we'd like to share with you. So let's get started. Don't leave the dump valve on your black water tank open when you're hooked up to a sewer connections at a campsite. By allowing the water to drain away, the toilet solids will accumulate in your tank. In a very short period of time, the tank will fill with the solid masses and the tank will not drain. You will have a nasty project on your hands. Number two, leave the drain on your valve closed until your tank is two thirds full. This will give the solids time to break down and the tank will be more easily empty completely when you do not have the valve open. Always use approved chemicals in the black water tank. They not only control the orders, but they also help break down the toilet paper and solids. By using special RV toilet paper or brands that are designed to break down quickly, you will be less likely to have problems and clogs. Since we're on the subject of RV black tanks, I recently uploaded a video on how to reduce the spells coming from your RV black tank in two simple steps, and you can watch that right up here. Number four. Now about those wonderful monitors that indicate the levels of your tanks. The black water light will probably be accurate during the first couple outings. As the toilet is used for the first few times, it is likely that it will never be accurate again. Bits of toilet paper will hang onto the sensors in your tank giving you readings ranging from partially or to completely full. When you know darn well that the tank is empty. Number five, if you remain stationary as a full-time RVer, it is a good idea to clean your black water tanks ever so often to eliminate any residual buildups of solids. The easiest way is to stick a holding tank rinse wand into the toilet and with as much water pressure available and spray into all of the corners and crevices of the tank as possible. Many toilet drops straight into the black water tank, making this chore easier and more effective. Question of the day, what are some other black tank tips that you have? Let us know in the comment section below. And remember, some of the coolest discoveries and ideas come from you, the RV community. So definitely connect with everyone in the comment section. Lori and I would like to thank you for following along with us today. And if you haven't already done so, check us out at 3TailsRV.com, where you will find more RV-related topics and discussions over there. Until next time, remember, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride, and we'll see you next time.